Very good morning to you all children. Today we are going to see a new lesson, Internet Content Sharing. Suppose your friends or family members are somewhere else, okay? And you just want to uh, send to send them uh, the images which you have taken today in your birthday party. Then how will you send them? Only with the help of internet we can do that, right? Yes. From this lesson, we are going to learn how to share the files, images or videos or any text okay using the internet applications there are many websites which allows us to share our files like uh, Flickr, Picasa, WhatsApp, Facebook, Google Sheets, Google Documents okay these are some of the websites which allows us to share our files to use these websites first what we need to do we need to have a registered email ID only then we can start using these websites so at first i am going to teach you how to create an email id okay so what is meant by an email an email is nothing but it is an electronic means of communication okay which allows us to send and receive messages with anyone if they are uh, the other recipient has an email id you can send and receive messages to them and also you can share any a type of files or uh, audios or images or text okay to the other recipient to do that first we need to have an internet connection and then a login id okay which is also known as the username and the password okay to send and receive the mail first we need to have an internet connection a username and a password to send and receive the email in this lesson i am going to teach you how to create an gmail account for that, first we have to log into www.gmail.com, which is the URL for the Gmail application. First, you have to log in. Okay. Then, once you get entered into that uh, page, okay, this will be appear. If you already having an email ID, you can just type your email ID here and then the password, and then you can click sign in. Okay. Now we want to create an email ID. For that, first you have to click the option create an account. Okay. If you don't have an email ID, first you have to click this option, create an account. Once you click this, this dialog box appears. Okay. In this, you, first you have to enter your first name and then your last name. Then you have to cho choose the username for your mail ID. Okay. Then after that, you have to create a password and then you have to retype your password to confirm it. And then you have to enter your date of birth, your gender. Then your mobile number and your current email address if you are having any email id then you can enter or simply you can leave it as blank and then click create option okay then your email id gets created so this is the step which is followed to create an email account in gmail application then we are going to see what are the steps we need to create a strong password so passwords uh, they are the one which provides us security for our email account so we should always have a strong password how will you create a strong password that we are going to see now okay simply we should not choose any dictionary word as our password okay simply we should not use any word because your date of birth your name your father's name your mother's name your brother's name so any word which is very easily identifiable okay we shouldn't use that as our password so a good mix of uh, characters numbers and special characters will create a good password okay what is meant by the word characters here it refers to the alphabets from a to z so our password should contain the alphabets and the numbers from 0 to 9 it should contain numbers from 0 to 9 and special characters like the symbols okay at symbol dollar symbol so any symbols you can use in your password so a good password contains the alphabets the numbers and the symbols okay a mix of these three things will give will get a strong password so when you type uh, the password having all these three characters then the command is displayed to indicate whether our password is strong or weak at least your password should have a minimum of eight characters okay at least you should have a minimum of eight characters and you should have a combination of the characters numbers and the symbols 
only then it will display your password as strong okay and then another rule is periodically we want to change our password okay periodically means once in a while okay once in a while we have to change our password and then we should not share our password to anyone we can give our email id okay only then the other person can share or, or text you okay or send email to you but we should never give our email password to anyone okay then so this is the if you type a password here okay password strength is strong so it's so you know if only if you type a password of at least eight characters and a combination of characters numbers and symbols then you will get a command showing that your password strength is long strong okay then we are going to see okay once uh, you created uh, an account and you have created a password for your account then this is the page okay which appears once you enter into your mail so inbox is the place okay inbox is the place where you receive your mails okay if some person sends you any mail okay that mail will automatically get into the inbox once you click inbox you will see the messages by other people okay they send you know that messages will get appeared in the inbox in sent okay in sent mail you will see the mails which you send to other people okay that mail which sent by you to other people will be in the sent mail and in drafts is a place okay where we can save our mail and then we can send it later okay okay suppose if you are uh, uh, clicking compose okay and you are going to start typing an email so or start typing the message okay then uh, in some emergency purpose and you are okay you cannot continue just if you close the window automatically that mail gets saved in your drafts and later you can go and and click it and then you can reset you can send it again okay so your compose is used to send an email if you, if you click, want to send an email to a person first we have to click the compose button so these are the menus which is uh, available in our email application okay students then we are going to see the contacts option so like uh, we have in our mobile now so the same like the likewise we have in our email applications also contact is the place where uh, the email ids of the person so which we are sending mails it automatically gets saved okay so contact is the place where the email ids of the persons okay we are sending email address so their email id get automatically saved in our contacts list so how we can manage our contact so we can also group the email address using the contacts option uh, say suppose okay uh, our school is celebrating an annual day function okay and they want to send an invitation to you all okay so we cannot uh, keep on typing uh, all the students uh, email id of 7th standard okay uh, it may take time no oh, so instead of doing that okay we can group all the mail ids of the 7th standard students and we can give a name okay 7th standard students okay we can give a name and then instead of typing all the mail ids we can just type the group name okay if we just type in the two box if we just type the group name okay then the mail mail particular mail no that mail will be sent to all the students of 7th standard so this is the simplest way we can send an email to a, the all the group members so grouping of email also can be done using the contacts option then frequently used emails so what's meant by the frequently used emails so emails which um, you will be you uh, sending messages periodically no so that emails will uh, grouped under the most contacted category so usually you will be sending the uh, messages or any you be sharing any files no so that mail ids will be grouped under the most contacted category so contact address from other email service providers can also be imported and exported which means that say suppose you are having an email id in gmail as well as in yahoo okay so uh, you can also transfer the contact list between these two email applications uh, you can transfer uh, you can import your contacts from yahoo to gmail 
and you can also export so import is that that which we are getting from okay which we are getting from a yago okay and if you want to export means we are just giving transferring your contacts from gmail to yago so this is a uh, difference between the import and export we can transfer our contacts to both the email ids then each application has its own format option we can um format that how your email application want to appear we can change the color we can change the background we can uh, give a, a picture for our email id so each application has its own format options then there is also a print option okay to print all or the selected email address we can also print our contact list okay using the print option so these are the various options which are used to manage your contacts then we are going to see the steps to create a group i told you know we can create a group okay so first to do that first we have to click uh, the type the group name okay what what is the group name okay what you are going to give say for example seven standard students and then the group description okay uh, you can give any description about uh, the group and then you can click the create button so these are the steps which is followed to create a group once you click the create button the group gets automatically created then we are going to see about 2 cc and bcc these three things are used to send an email to multiple persons okay so first always in the subject we need to give the brief title of our content uh suppose um, you are sending an invitation okay then your subject to uh, should be uh, an invitation for the birthday party so for birthday invitation okay or marriage invitation so the content uh, for the content you should give a suitable subject title okay that should be included in the subject in two you should include the email address for the main recipient so to do the main recipient you have to type that person's email id in the two column okay in cc cc means it's carbon copy and bcc means it's blind carbon copy okay and we are going to see in detail what's meant by cc and what's meant by bcc so this is the sender okay he is sending an email to the three persons okay so this is the recipient okay i will tell you just a minute okay this is recipient 1 and this is recipient 2 okay and this is sorry okay this is recipient 3 okay say suppose you are going to send that birthday invitation okay to your brother and your sister okay keep your brother as the main first recipient your sister as the second recipient your sister okay your brother okay as the main recipient okay so in the two address you are typing your email id of your brother okay he is the main recipient you are typing this email id cc means carbon copy okay in that you are typing your sister's mail id okay then you are sending that invitation okay to your brother as well as your sister what happens your brother will receive the mail and once he is uh, opening his email he knows that that he have shared the same invitation to your sister also he can see that okay in cc you have typed your sister's mail id he can see that you have sent the same mail to your sister also likewise your sister can also see okay when she receives that particular mail she can also see that okay that your brother receive the same mail also okay so she also knows that your brother has received the mail and your brother knows that your sister has also received the same mail so if you entered anybody's uh, email okay the cc okay the recipient in two as well as in cc both they get come to know that you have shared the email to the both the persons should both the recipients they both will get to know that you have shared the same email to both the persons usually 
this two and cc they are used when you want to inform both the persons okay they are used at that time only cc is used when you want to keep inform both the recipients okay then we are going to see about the dcc which means blind government copy so this is the third person okay say uh, someone from your uh, family or someone from some of your friends okay so these are your relatives and this say you keep this as your friend okay and uh, you will be having many friends okay uh, nearly on some 10 friends or 10 15 friends okay you want to send the same invitation to all your friends okay and this particular friends they do not want to know that you have shared your the same invitation to other people also to your other friends also say suppose your friend one okay and you keep some other person as your friend two okay this friend one more he or she doesn't want to know okay that you have shared the same invitation to your friend two also okay then how will you do that okay each time you cannot enter all each person's email id in two that's difficult no you cannot enter all the person's email id in two okay and each and every time you cannot send that mail so how will you do that that in that case only this blind carbon copy it helps us okay you can enter the email id of your list of your friends okay your 10 friends say suppose you are having you want to send to 10 friends okay you can type all the persons email id the 10 your friends of 10 persons email id in bcc and then you can click send okay your friend one doesn't know that you have sent the same invitation to your friend two also okay easily you can send all the mails to the list of persons you have and they do not know that you have shared the same mail to the other persons also so this is how dcc helps us in the email application so ninga vandu tool la vandu main recipient kaga ninga use panna single recipient ku mattum ninga anbringa abina ninga vandu two use panna tool la vandu ninga direct ah avangaloda recipient oda email id type pannite ninga vandu tool la vandu send panna so same email ninga vandu innor persons ku anupringa so ivungalukku ninga anupradhu vandu tool la irukka ungalku okay inform avangalukku anupradhu therinjalum okay so ungaloda close relatives ku ninga anupringa so you can enter other persons email id in ccc also say suppose ninga vandu school ku leave letter anupringa mail pandringa appo in two you can uh, give the email id of a school okay school email id can give a school email id and here you can give a give your class teachers email id okay then at the same email will be sent to school as well as your class teacher and both of them will get to know avanga rendu perkume theriyum okay ninga vandu email id school ku anupirkinga teacher ku class teacher ku anupirkinga rendu perkume so in that cases you can use the cc option okay and suppose you want to send an invitation in your other invitation or all and mari one one person or recipient ku anupradhe inno recipient ku theriya vendam appdi ninga nanichinga appadina and the time nam use pandrad da vandu bcc which means blind carbon copy so in the friend one ku ninga anupra invitation friend two ku vandu theriyadu so which means that friend one oda mail id friend two ku theriyadu simple adha okay friend one oda mail id friend two ku theriyadu so avanga friend two nanapanga neenga and the invitation avangalukku mattum da anupirkinga nu likewise friend one nu neenga avangalukku mattum da anupirkinga nu nanapanga so oru oda mail id innor thangalukku vandu theriyadu so this is how bcc helps us cc la vandu two person oda main recipient oda email id cc la irukravangalukku theriyum So so CC le, so to main recipient ko you. So, this is the the difference between the BCC and CC. Hope, hope you are clear students. Then we are going to see, okay, how to attach files, images and videos using the email application. So, this is the place where you enter, okay, the 
main recipient email id which means to and this is the place where you enter the subject okay subject which means the title for your content okay here this is the place where you type your content which means the body of the email you have you will be typing here okay this is the place okay where you can attach the files this is the icon which is used to attach a file once you click this okay you can select the required file from your computer and then you can click okay then the files get automatically attached to your mail and then you can click the send button then the email gets sent to that particular recipient so this is the step which is followed to attach any files images or videos using the email then we are going to see the uses of the search and the advanced search options in the email applications so search here is always similar to the search option which we used in the google so ninga vandu google la poite ungalku theviyana vishayatha vandu search panna ninga epdi search panuvinga just ninga google povinga poite the search column la ungalku theviyana vishayathoda keyword vandu namu vandu type panni search pannu likewise ingiyum appadi dhaan ipo ungalku nariya mail varalam ungaloda mail ku nariya mails varalam so adhu vandu ninga particular ah or mail la vandu நீங்க வந்து பில்டர் பண்ணணும் அந்த பர்டிகுலர் மெயில் உங்களுக்கு வேணும் அப்படின்னா அது நீங்க எப்படி ஈஸியா எடுக்க முடியும் சோ ஒன்லி வித் ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் த சர்ச் ஆப்ஷன் வி கேன் டூ தட் இன் சர்ச் ஜஸ்ட் யூ கேன் சிம்பிளி கோ அண்ட் டைப் த வேர்ட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஸ்கூல் ஓகே ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் யூ ஆர் டைப்பிங் த வேர்ட் ஸ்கூல் ஓகே அண்ட் தென் யூ ஆர் கிளிக்கிங் திஸ் அண்ட் தென் யூ ஆர் கிளிக்கிங் திஸ் சர்ச் ஐகான் ஓகே அண்ட் தென் ஆல் த மெயில்ஸ் விச் இஸ் ஹேவிங் த வேர்ட் ஸ்கூல் it gets appeared so ninga school indra word type pandringa appo ninga vandu search icon click pandringa appo endha ella mail la endha endha mail la vandu school indra word irukko and the mail full ah me ungalku vandu keela vandu appear aagum so this is how we can search a particular mail using the email applications okay what is meant by the word advanced search so advanced search is something which is different from search சோ இப்ப உங்களுக்கு வந்துட்டு இப்ப ஸ்கூல் நீங்க போட்டு நீங்க சர்ச் பண்ணும் போது நியர்லி உங்களுக்கு வந்து ஒரு டென் டு பிப்டீன் இமெயில்ஸ் வந்து உங்களுக்கு வந்து தெரியலாம் ஸ்கூல்ன்ற வேர்டு வச்சு சோ அதுல நீங்க பட் அப்போ மறுபடியும் நீங்க அதுல போய் ஃபில்டர் பண்ணுவோம் சோ பர்டிகுலரா நீங்க எப்படி ஃபில்டர் பண்ணுவீங்க ஃபார் தேட் ஓன்லி வி ஆர் யூசிங் திஸ் அட்வான்ஸ்ட் சர்ச் ஆப்ஷன் இன் அட்வான்ஸ் சர்ச் இஃப் யூ நோ ஃப்ரம் ஹூம் யூ ரிசீவ் தட் பர்டிகுலர் மெயில் யூ கேன் டைப் தட் பர்சன்ஸ் மெயில் ஐடி and suppose if you send that mail to uh, suppose ninga vandu and the mail yaar ka champinninga appadina in two address you can type that persons that recipients mail id and if you know the subject say for example you are searching some of your old question papers okay uh, say for example your first term question paper then that you can click that subject title okay or any invitation which you have sent then you can simply type your my or birthday invitation okay in the subject you can simply type that then all the emails which is having the subject as birthday invitation gets appears so that will be very easy for you to find now so this is how the advanced search option helps us to search a mail very easily it narrow downs our search so this is the difference between the search and the advanced search options then we are going to see the settings so all the email applications provides its own settings if you go to gmail it will be having its own settings if you go if you create an account in yahoo it will have its own settings so all these settings can be customized we can uh, choose our language in which we want to get our emails okay and then we can edit our text from left to right or from right to left how we want to appear we can create a folder and we can group the emails say for example what are the emails you are receiving from your relatives you can group it from your friends you can group it and so you can group all the emails you can create a folders you can change your password you can also uh, change how your uh, email application want to appear so you can change the background you can create a uh, picture okay for your account okay everything you can do using the settings option so this is the settings icon okay once you click you can go to the settings option which provides us various customizations for our email application then we are going to see the do's and don'ts for the email so these are the rules okay which is followed for using an email applications so first we have to check our emails regularly 
So once you create an email account, always we need to check it whether we have received any new mail or not. So always you have to log into your account and we have to check your emails. Then the subject field, okay, it should always accurately, it should portray the content of the email. So in subject, you should quickly in the short form, you should deliver the content of the email. Then we should not send emails to multiple address. Okay, multiple address, you should not type in the two column. Okay, in two, you should not type, always type the multiple address. You should use either CC or you should use DCC. Then we should not spam. Spam means we should not uh, send an email to the person, okay, without their permission, okay. Any, uh, some will be receiving any uh, uh, marketing uh, emails, okay, by this, by that, okay. Like that, uh, we will receive some mails. So, that mail should not be done. We should not send like that, those type of mails to other person. That is, maybe we should not spam, okay. We should not send unnecessary emails to other persons. Then reply to all options should not be used, okay, always. We should use only if it is necessary. Then we should be cautious, okay, which means that which are um, words which we use, no, which that should be very humble. Only we should use humble, respectful words, okay. We should use only humble and respectful words. Hope you have all aware about the internet rules, okay. We should always use only humble and respectful words. Only these words can be used. Okay, we should not use any harsh words in while writing our email. Then we should not share the email address of other people. Okay, your friends or email address when they email friend ka and the friend or the permission illama niye when they share panna kudaadu. Okay, so we should not share other person's email ID. Okay, our permission illama nama our da email ID when they share panna kudaadu. So first, nama emails regular check panna mo. The subject field la nama when they nama da content of the email or da appropriate title when they nama subject la guru kono. Emails the multiple persons address the then spam unnecessary emails the send then reply to all options when the necessary use humble words email use harsh words use then one person order permission email ID where Share so these are the rules which is followed for using an email application. Thank you students.